Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and I'm here with lesson number 20 on using your Raspberry Pi and we have been learning a lot about Linux as we have gone through these lessons. Now one of the things that I've been uh, kind of talking to you about is the importance of not shutting down your Pi incorrectly and the importance of not just taking the power off or taking the card off that it's really easy to the uh, SD card. Well guess what, this morning I ended up messing up my SD card to where I was not able to boot and so I spent the morning hadn't backed up my system so I had to spend the morning reinstalling the operating system and getting all my software put back on there so it just reminded me it's time for us to go in and really learn about how to back up our SD card. It's really important to back up your SD card because even like this morning what I was doing was I didn't unplug it or I didn't take the card out but I was editing a system file and I just for some reason I didn't exit out gracefully as I was editing it that one silly file got corrupted and when that file got corrupted then boom I was not able to boot the Pi up and so what I want to do is I want to show you uh, the easiest way to back up your Pi in this lesson we're going to show how to back up the Pi and then in the next lesson we're going to show how to load from a backup okay so to, to the software that you're going to need we're now on Windows <clears throat> okay on a Windows machine you want win win so we're in Google searching 32 D I S K M A N A G E R. Win32 Disk Manager. Okay. <clears throat> when you look at that, you can see for me the top the top result for the download is at sourceforge.net and then slash projects win32 disk manager. And I go there. <coughs> Your screen should look something like this. Okay. And then win32 disk manager, make sure you're in the right spot, and then download and then we'll see if this is going to be fast or slow. Don't click anything. A lot of times on SourceForge it goes here and it, it, you like think you need to click on something, but no. <clears throat> it's coming down. It looks like it's going to be pretty quick, so we'll just wait for it. I forgot my coffee beans this morning, so I'm down to drinking tea. I ran out of beans yesterday, so tea's not bad, though. <clears throat> Hopefully you're playing along with me here. Okay. I also re realized that I am going to need to shut down my Pi while we're getting ready to do this. So if you haven't shut down your Pi already, let's do that. Let's do a sudo uh, halt. Okay, it says it's going down. Boom. Okay, so my Pi is down. Uh, and this is now downloaded. So we're doing several things at once. I'm going to get my SD card. Okay. And I am going to get my little adapter, and I'm going to put the SD card in the adapter. Okay, if you have it the right way, it goes in easy. Don't force it. You probably have it upside down. So now this is going to go into the Windows-based machine. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. All right, there it is. Okay popped up there. I want to open it so I can see which one it is. And uh, it's T. Okay. And so you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So I just got to remember that it's disk T. And we'll get to that in a minute. All right. This is downloaded. So now we are going to install uh, in Windows. And if you're using Chrome, which I hope you are, it shows up down here. You just click on it and it should install. Let's see. I have several things going on here, so let me get rid of that. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I clicked on it. Let me see if I can go to my downloads. I think that I should have a download folder. So if I just go and look at downloads. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 
I must not have clicked on it good, and so here is the installer, so I'm going to try to click on it again. Yeah, there it goes. I just didn't click on it good. Run. Okay. So set up wiz wizard, yes. Uh, I agree to the terms. Do you ever wonder what you're agreeing to when you click that? Like your firstborn children will be confiscated at age two or something like that. Okay, and then I, I yeah, I'll take a desktop icon. Okay, install. <clears throat> Don't want to read me, but I will launch it. Okay, run. Okay, let me uh Okay, let me try to run it again. This has gotten a little a little crazy here. Okay, now it's running. Hopefully you got through all that okay. I just had a little bit of a, a glitch on the install, but it looks like it's working now. Okay, what we have to remember was what was the folder that we wanted to image? What was the, or I'm sorry, what was the, uh, the uh, SD card that we wanted to back up? It was T, and we verified that. You want to make sure that you get that right because you don't want to do the wrong one. So if we come over here to my computer, I can look and see that that's my... Um, uh, that's my Pi disk that I just put in. So that looks good. So we want to do T. Now we want to create a backup. And so what you can see is I have a folder called My Pi Backups. You can create a, a folder with what you want. But create a folder called My Pi Backups. Put it where you can remember it. And then you want to select that folder. Okay. So I'm going to go to Desktop. And then I'm going to find that which will be, hopefully these are alphabetical, but it looks like maybe they're not, uh, Pi Backups. Okay, and then I'm going to give it Pi Backup. That was the last one I did on 525. This is 529, so I will give another date to it, and I will say Open. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take the stuff from T, and I want to put it in this file. And so you got to be careful. Read reads the data from the device, that's your SD card, to the image file. That's what you want to do. So you say read, and now it is creating the backup. Uh, hopefully you're doing this along with me. I'm going to pause the video just for a second so you don't have to sit and watch this. But then come back with me in just a second, and then we will wrap this up. Okay, now uh, you can see that we are done and we got the most wanted read successful, which basically means it did the backup. We should be able to see the backup now if I go to my Pi backups and you can see that I have a Pi backup from 525. That wasn't the one I wanted. I'd done things since then, so I had to basically rebuild. And then this is the one that we just made. Pi Backup 529, okay? Let's talk about now if you ever needed to reload from the backup, you would open Win Disk Manager 32, put the uh, SD card in. I would suggest formatting it. Again, when we format it, we use the SD Formatter program that I talked about, I think, in lesson number two. But what you do is you navigate to your image that you want to uh, load back onto the Pi. So we're going to go to Desktop and... Uh, my Pi backups, uh, and then uh, disk image files, okay, and we're going to go five like that. So you see that's loaded in there. That's the one we want where we wanted to go to T, and then what we would do is write right from the image file to the device. The device is the SD card. If I did this, boom, it would go. Okay, so we now know how to back up our Raspberry Pi SD card. We also know how to load it from backup. Do this. Be diligent about it because there's a lot of different ways you can mess up your operating system. Stay diligent about keeping your system updated. Okay, Paul McWhorter, this has been lesson number 20. We'll be back shortly with lesson number 21. Take it easy, guys.